Unit 3 Review, Problem 3. 36 loggerhead sea turtle nests were uncovered, and the number of eggs in each nest, which is called the clutch size, was counted. A stem and leaf plot for the sample is given below. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources website states that the average clutch size for the loggerhead sea turtle population in South Carolina is 120 eggs per nest. Conduct a hypothesis testing procedure to determine if the mean clutch size for the population of loggerhead sea turtles from which the above sample was selected is 120 eggs per nest. This problem explicitly states to conduct a hypothesis test procedure. So we will follow a hypothesis test procedure to answer this question. And this problem is looking for the population of loggerhead sea turtles, which is just one population of turtles. And the problem is focusing on the mean clutch size. So we'll be conducting our hypothesis test procedure for one population mean. So we can use this process here to follow the steps to conduct our hypothesis test procedure for one population mean. The first step in any hypothesis test procedure is to statistically state the hypotheses. We do this by writing down the H0 and the H1, followed by the symbol for the population parameter involved, which is the mean, mu. Now we must determine if this test is involving an equal versus not equal, or is it a greater than equal less than test, or it could be a less than or equal greater than test. We always look to the words of the question to figure that one out. So here the test is determined if the mean clutch size for this population of loggerhead sea turtles is 120 eggs per nest. Is is an equals and equals always goes in HO, the null hypothesis. For this problem, we'll set up HO as the mu equals 120. And when HO includes the equal, the H1 is always the opposite, not equal. So H1 will be that mu is not equal to 120. Now that the first step stating the hypothesis is complete, we can go to the second step where we use alpha equals 0.05, unless stated otherwise. Uh, this problem does not state any other uh, level of significance, so we will use the customary alpha of 0.05, or 5%. Step three, we go to the calculator. In this case, to do a hypothesis test for one population mean, we turn to the t-test command on the t 3 t84 calculator. But before we uh, conduct the t-test on the t83, t84 calculator, we first must enter the data. So the data is displayed in the stem and leaf plot. To enter the data, we press stat, enter to get to the list editor, and then we could pick any list. Let's say for this case we can enter the data in L1. So we make sure we clear out list one of any old data to make room for this new data. Once the old data is cleared out, we could start entering the data one at a time, followed by enter. In this case, the first nest had a total of 92 eggs. So we type in 92 and press enter. The next nest had 93 eggs. So we enter in 93, followed by enter. Next, the nest had 95 eggs. So we type in 95 and press enter. Next, 97 eggs, so we type in 97, enter, and so on. So we enter in all 36 data values till the last one, the 126 eggs, enter. Now with all 36 data values entered in list one, we can go to the t-test command by pressing stat, arrow over to the test command, arrow down and select the t-test. Press enter. On the t-test menu, you're first prompted for what you have to input. The choice is data or stats. Since we entered the actual data into list one, 
we put the blinking cursor on data and press enter. Then we down arrow to put the blinking cursor next to the symbol mu zero. The mu zero prompt is asking you to enter what does the mean mu equal in the HO null hypothesis. In this case, in HO, mu equals 120. So we enter in the 120 next to the mu zero and press enter. Then with the cursor blinking next to list, we tell the calculator what list we entered the data in. In this case, we used list one. So I would press second one to bring up list one, press enter. Then with the blinking cursor next to freak, short for frequency, it should always be one for most cases. Uh, in this case, it's one because each of the data values entered were the number of eggs coming from one nest. Now with our frequency set to one, we need to down arrow and match the alternative hypothesis symbol in H1 to the calculator. Here, H1 is mu not equal to 120. So we put the blinking cursor on the not equal and press enter to select. Now we match the test that we're conducting with the calculator. Now we can arrow down to calculate and with the blinking cursor on calculate, we press enter. And the calculator gives us all kinds of results. One thing to notice here is the sample size n equals 36. 36 is sufficiently large, over 30, so we have no extra assumptions to make here. Out of all the values that are displayed on the t-test command screen, all we really need is just the p-value to make our conclusion in the hypothesis test. Here, the p-value calculates to 4.567291e minus 11. Now the notation the calculator uses with the e minus 11, that's how it represents scientific notation. So the e minus 11 means that decimal place that's currently being displayed between the four and the five really needs to be moved 11 places in the negative or to the left. And if you move that decimal point 11 places to the left and fill in all the blank spots with zeros, so we would write 11 zeros, zero point zero 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 and then the four five six seven but once we get past the fourth zero when it comes to rounding off probabilities we really just need to carry three places after the decimal so this p-value essentially rounds off to zero now that we have our p-value we can make our decision since the p-value of 0, 0.000 is 0.05 or less, the decision is to reject HO. And when you reject HO, you conclude that the ID in HO is not valid. So here the HO of mu equals 120 is not supported by the data. So we cannot conclude that the mean is 120. When HO is not valid, H1 is valid. So in this case, there is sufficient data to support H1, which says that mu does not equal to 120. So now we're ready to answer the question. Therefore, at the 0 0.05 level of significance, the mean clutch size for the population of loggerhead sea turtles from which the above sample was selected is not 120 eggs per nest.